Hello, everybody. Welcome to Replay. I am Kyle Hilliard here with Wes LeBlanc. What's up, Wes? Hello, hello. I'm very excited to play a game that I have a weird history with, a loving history with. <laughs> loving uh, history. As a, as a young gamer back in 2012 or 13 or 11, I forget when this game came out. <laughs> There's no way of knowing. There's simply no way of knowing. No, it's, I mean, it not, was not I got to get a computer for that. Gosh, I think it was 12. I think it might have been 12. I think it was 12 too. Yeah, because yeah, I, I played it after Skyrim thinking it would be like Skyrim because, of course, if one game is fantasy, then all games that are also fantasy play like it. Oh, yeah. Um, and I was gravely mistaken. Gravely, gravely mistaken. That was the crazy fun thing about Dragon's Dogma, which, by the way, hello, everybody. Welcome to chat. Um, hello. We usually play, we've been playing The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, but Marcus is out on assignment. So we're doing more more traditional episode of replay where we look at an old game and, and reminisce about it. But, but that also means that I am on the tech side of things. So it, please let me know if, like, the audio sounds okay. I, if you can hear the game, you know, that's that kind of stuff is important. <laughs> you know? That's true. People are saying that. Out. But um, yeah, no, I absolutely, I was totally in that boat too, and to the to the point of um, being negative about the game. I think a lot of yeah. us in the office at the time at Game Informer were like, ah, Capcom's just trying to do a Skyrim ripoff. We'll see how this thing is. And I remember uh, Jeff Cork, who reviewed the game, who, you know, I'll spoil the end of the story, really liked Dragon's Dogma, had a good time with it, went in with such pessimism that he created his character in the game to just be this, like, terrible-looking person that he had no affection for whatsoever. He's like, eh, I'm going to play this stupid Capcom fantasy game, and I'm just going to make my character look dumb. And then after, like, 12 hours, he's like, actually, this game is really cool, and now my character looks like an idiot, and I just have to live with yeah. it. <laughs> Just very that's kind of i think that's the the dragon's dogma story for a lot of people yeah. like what is this this is just like a skyrim ripoff blah 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 and then fast forward 20 30 hours and it's like oh i must spread the good word of yeah. dragon's dogma i mean my thing was i uh, i booted it up um and the, at least the original version we're playing dark arisen um the original version had this crazy start screen music that was like metal it was like it was right it was like this like Japanese yeah. metal song with like soaring lyrics and I was like what did I sign up for this is not what I expected at all very very Capcom though yes absolutely they they like metal more than most developers <laughs> out there I feel like that's true so I at the time I only played it for two or three hours or something I was I was a young father at the time and my my time to sink into RPGs was limited <laughs> So I yeah. didn't. I didn't play very much. So Wes, I'm re gonna rely on your memory to give me tips and stuff. You know. Well, you're doing great so far. So far, can I lock on to people? I you cannot. That is a. That's a big part of Dragon's Dogma. Oh really? Okay, can I? Um, I don't think you can roll. Okay. You can jump. I think R1 or what are you on? You're on Xbox. Xbox. So like right bumper is uh, block, I believe. Uh, um. I don't know. Yeah. This is all just early. I think this is this this is literally I hit start. Like I, so yeah. this is very tutorial. It's not going to give us the uh, the hardcore stuff yet. I don't think. So did you finish Dragon's Dogma? Did you play through the the whole thing at the time? Not, not originally. No, because I bought. Um, yeah, so I I bought Dragon's Dogma after playing Skyrim, thinking it could be like Skyrim, and I was yeah. uh, pretty mistaken, and I did not really enjoy it. And I kind of bounced off, and I revisited a couple years later, and uh, and then I became somebody who's like, okay, no, Dragon's Dogma is pretty awesome. I'm not in the camp of like most Dragon Dogma fans. Like they love this game. It's like one of the best games ever made. They've been asking for two forever, so this is a good year for them. I just think it's like a really good fantasy RPG. Okay. Um, so you're not, yeah, you're not a zealot. A, <laughs> right. No, no, I'm not a zealot. I'm not. I'm not. No, I think I still. You go to Dragon's know, Dogma Church, a church on Christmas and Easter, and that's exactly that's it. yeah, <laughs> yeah. When the grandparents are in town and they think I'm still going to church, like yeah, that's when I'm. <laughs> there you go. Of course, yeah, I'm shaking hands with the pastor as if he knows me. Yeah, it's like it's me, Wes. Uh, by the way, I'm gonna yeah. I'm gonna adjust your uh, your your picture just a little bit. Oh uh, yeah, I just I'm like you're 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 all up in it. That's fine, which is fine. You know, you're here to just really, to spread the really game. love Dragon's Dogma. You know? <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's make you look a little more. Oh, look at this! So handsome. 
Yeah. Now I'm like your grandpa. I <laughs> I made my character with the Dragon's Dogma 2 cuz they released like the character creator early. Yeah, I like I like um, that trend. I like I like people doing I like more people doing that. Yeah, it's great cuz I hate I don't hate it. I start a game and then if there's a character creator, I spend 45 minutes in it and I don't know why cuz I just want to get to the game, but I can't help myself. And then I'm like well, that's my gaming time. Got to go. And because something comes up and then I just wasted time creating a character. So making one so early is nice. However, my Dragon's Dogma character, I might have to like not use because the, I did really The one that you've made already, game. you're saying? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, yeah. And the new character creator, I did really good and it looks just like me and I'm worried it's going to um, like take me out. I don't like how much it looks like me. If that makes sense. I didn't mean to make it so well done, but it's a good creator and you can really tinker with a lot of stuff. Uh, and yeah, now I'm like, do I need to see Wesley in this fantasy world? Is that going to take me out? Because I know I'm not surviving. I'm not doing none of this stuff. Uh, yeah, I don't know how I feel about character creators these days because so many games have them. Um, mm -hmm. But like often lately, there's, I don't think I can, I, I don't think I can say what game it is. I'll just be cryptic in that way. I apologize. But there's a game that's coming out very soon that you have to create two characters. You uh, you can mention that. I okay. know what you're talking about. Uh, that is part of the uh, part of the previews that happened last week. We're allowed okay. to mention that. Rise of Ronin. Um, yeah. You have to create two characters. And I didn't realize that. I spent five minutes on the first one because I'm really getting like, I don't know if I want to spend a lot of time here. And I was like, all right, well, you know what? I'll, I'll I'll make this lady. She's got some cool makeup. I like her hair. All right, ready to start the game. And then it's like, all right, now you got to make another guy. I was like, what? Yep. I just made a guy. <laughs> yeah. Baldur's Gate did that too, right? It's like, I don't want to make yeah, all these guys. Your, uh, I mean, I think this. I think Dragon's Dogma does it too with uh, it really? your pawn. Yeah, because you have to make... Um, I, I will see. I haven't... It's been a minute, but if I remember correctly, yeah, you gotta uh, make your character and then immediately, or like maybe after a quick story thing, make your pawn. Okay. So that's fun. And this is one of those like you know I I recognize that I'm I, most people don't feel that way. Like a lot of people love the character creator and really making their person who either looks like them or they're making a person that they're just really excited to role play as. But I I just I yeah I I lately I, I'm getting a little exhausted by it and I just kind of. You know, pick one of the templates, and I'm like, all right, they look cool. I'll go with them. You know, certain enemies. Yeah, I kind of. I don't know why. I think it's because they released the Dragon's Dogma two one early. I was like, there's nothing else to do in the game. Like yeah, that's, that's all nice. it is. So, yeah, I'll spend time and and work on it. But I think I'm more like you in a regular release. I don't go too hard. Um, I, I honestly don't ever really try to make myself. So at that point, I'm just making some random person. Yeah. Um, at most, maybe I'll be like, I'll give him purple hair. Purple is cool. Oops. Um, and then I'm was ready to get in the game. I know. Um, yeah, I'm also, I, I just like I, my my silly uh, dismissive response to character creators is like, I just want the professional artists you guys hire to like make the best looking <laughs> protagonist you can. And then I'll just play with that person, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So yes. I, I do enjoy watching what people create though i think there's yeah. i don't know if there's a subreddit but there's definitely like a big part of the dragon's dogma subreddit where people post their formulas for characters if you want to make shrek or uh, <laughs> oh, i've seen a couple Geralt yeah. or any anybody like that. i mean i've seen like seinfeld and other non-fantasy characters oh, really? too see wearing a um, pirate shirt I I'm not a saying I don't know anything about Seinfeld other than that okay. Seinfeld exists. So I don't know what that joke is or what. Uh, uh, I was I was hanging out in person, uh, IRL as the kids say, with um, Alex Van Aken last night, uh, and I made a joke about the TV show Friends, and everyone like looked at me like we don't know Friends, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm, you're all children. I, <laughs> I have seen Friends. That is probably the oldest of sitcoms i've okay. seen anything before that um i don't i don't think i know we were we were it was a it was a pie day event so a number of people made pies and uh we had yeah. a lot of chicken pot pies and someone tried to use the chicken pot pie pie thing to get a piece of like uh chocolate peanut butter pie uh. and the, like we stopped it before that the, it happened right because we we're like oh we can't we can't let you get a bunch of chicken pot pie in your 
in your uh, your chocolate cream pie chocolate, here. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, you'd have a real Joey Tribbiani situation. And everyone just gave yes. me like a blank stare. <laughs> I was like, okay. Aww. Kids uh, these days. Like a bunch of Brooklyn Nine go. Nine fans We're... over here. <laughs> yeah. New girl. The Office. I bet if you made an Office joke, that would have landed well. Uh, shows that I adore. Uh, my ki- my kiddo's yeah. actually watching The Office right now, which has been fun. Oh, that's uh, awesome. I'm, I'm taking a lot of damage here, Russ. Um, am I yeah, doing it right? Um, <laughs> I know I can climb on to... this guy, right? That's fun. Yeah, have you done that? That's definitely something you need to do. Um, you're not supposed to die, I don't think. Uh, this is like... <laughs> oh, the... is, that your, is that your tip, Wes? <laughs> <laughs> here we go. That went okay. Yeah. Oh, I cut off the tail. That's cool. I wasn't even trying to yeah. do that. There you go. Yeah, the snake is done. If you could... I mean, that's obviously a snake, yeah. Yeah. I do. I remember playing this uh, back in the day and just being sort of charmed. I get maybe charmed's not the right word, but being like, oh, this is a cool monster design. Like, there's a lot happening here, you know? Yeah. We got two heads, uh, we got a snake tail. Duke Faison has a good tip. Um, he says, uh, keep your health above zero. Meanwhile, reduce the enemy's HP to zero. <laughs> I think that's, that's a real, like, uh, loading screen tip right there, right? <laughs> yeah. I can't remember if you can. You, you don't have your... Oh, yeah, you don't have pawn help. I, I mean, I have a guy with that. me, but he's not a pawn. Yeah, if you have your pawns, you can hit help, and they'll, like, come and heal you and stuff. Yeah, do I, I have... You. Do I have an item? Should I, like... Should I take a potion or something? You'd have to go in, you'd have to go in the menu to see... Oh, you're asleep right now. I just need Hit start? Map. Oh, you're in there now. Uh, quest... Like, these are, like, strip options here. Okay, this looks more like a... Curative. Okay, okay, here we go. What's this? Yeah, there you go. Herb. And they, they happen immediately from the menu, so. Harspud juice. Uh, yeah, that's the good so stuff. Harspuds. Consume it to recover a fair amount of health and stamina. Let's do it. Now, can I use it while I'm asleep? Yeah, all right. Pretty nice. Yeah, okay, cool. Is this how everyone wiggles the left control stick? Is that how everyone does it? I do, yeah. Trained like scratching by, my palm. Trained by Resident Evil 4. Infusion Frenzy. <laughs> Infusion Frenzy. Hey, I didn't die. Thanks for the tips, everybody. Yay. ODD Low says Kyle might die here. Not today. <laughs> mm. Oh, wait, he's still alive. <laughs> oh, yeah, you I still thought got I the won. third part of the line. <laughs> here I was getting all confident. What was I thinking? Oh, no. Big phase on. Kyle, I wrote on the topic of CDI. Keep this subject hot. I forget. Yes. Did we didn't. talk about... CDI? Uh, we did, a, I don't remember why, but we did last week, and then Duke Faison in, in our Discord channel, which you can become a member of by subscribing to our Twitch channel, um, asked me to like send, let him know what model I have, because I have a CDI, but last time I plugged in, it wasn't working. Um, oh, like the game CDI, like the Zelda oh, yeah. thing. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have, I have a CDI console, um, but yeah, it wasn't, I was, I'm worried that it's not working, and, and Duke Faison said they would try to try to help me out as best they could remotely. Oh, I got the goat. The goat is dead. So now I'm just working on the lion, huh? Yeah. You got this. Now that I figured out how to take potions. And then I can do these, like, special attacks here, right? Yeah, left left bumper opens up your special attacks, I think. Yeah. Although it doesn't display... Oh, it does. Okay, shield, strike, and... Hindsight slash. Let's give him the old hindsight slash. That was I missed. <laughs> oh god. That's okay. Maybe I will die. I can't remember if I, I previewed Dragon's Dogma two. Yeah, uh, you went you went month. and played it in California, right? Yeah, it's great. It's more Dragon's Dogma Hell in yeah. good ways and bad ways. But there's a mechanic where after you like hit them enough or do enough damage, they kind of like. Um, What's the word? It's like a stagger almost. And then you can press triangle for a heavy attack and it does like a big damage okay. attack. But I can't remember if that's in one. I I'm, I'm looking out. I'm, maybe you can't do it on an enemy of this size, but... Um, that feels like a very Monster Hunter thing, right? Like a... Uh, yeah. Ooh. Was that... That must have done a lot of damage. Why don't you just scarf oh, down some herbs? What? These... Does this... Oh, purge the body of poison... Uh, consumed or cover a great deal of health. I should have been using this the whole time. What was I thinking? And does health draw near fallen items and press B to revive them? Uh, I don't know. You got a lion on you, man. Okay. 
Okay, so when I use a health item, does it take a little while to, like, enact, so to speak? No, not that I remember. Oh, um, let me just sprint out of the way here. Because I thought I... Did I not take it? Or do I need to, like, mix it? Strong, a rare, quite potent. Consume it to recover great to get health. Okay. You... Oh, I, you know what I did? I pressed A, but then I didn't press A again to use. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. All right. Now we're in good shape. Now this lion is okay. shaking in its boots. I had my, uh, I didn't realize my stream quality was on like 360p and I'm like, I can't read your menus. <laughs> oh. Are, we're are, good are, now. Are, are we sure there's not a roll option? I would love a dodge roll. Uh, MD bad or ODD low. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe there is a roll. Uh, Different class. Here we go. Uh, now I hit him with the slash. That went way better. Oh, Salde. Oh, I got him up though. Okay. Dragon's Dogma Duke Faison is the Capcom developed fantasy RPG. Dragon Age is the um, Bioware over at EA. Thanks, one. thanks for looking at chat, Wes. Much appreciated. Yeah. Uh, you cannot roll unless you're a Strider, which I believe you are not. Ooh, I want to be a Strider. Then. Doesn't matter. Crushed it. <laughs> Crushed it. That was fun. Duke Faison, which one is better? Uh... Um, but age or dogma? I have, I, is that the question? Yeah, I mean, I think most people... Well, <laughs> you talk to a Dragon Age fan, they're going to tell you Dragon Age is like one of the best series ever. You talk to a Dragon's Dogma fan, they're going to tell you Dragon's Dogma is like one of the best fantasy RPGs ever. Very um, heated is not the right word. Those fan bases love this game, love their games. Yeah, they're, uh, not, they're not switching sides anytime soon. <laughs> yeah. For me, I only played Inquisition. I want to go back to origins and two before Dreadwolf, but um who knows if that'll happen i think between dragon's dogma one and inquisition i probably like inquisition a little more okay. uh but it's a little it was a little more modern and uh when i played dragon's dogma i was still kind of like a uh, like just regular old gamer just picking up games on the shelf because they had a cool cover inquisition was like oh Games media, like reviewers I like, love this game. I need to give it a try. People are talking about it. Um, so I was a different kind of gamer at that point. But uh, ODD low, Dragon Age definitely has better writing. That is true, actually. I don't know if people are coming to Dragon's Dogma for the writing. It's all about climbing beasts. Climbing beasts. Uh, I'm... Oh, I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. Oh, he's on mute. He's talking to someone else. Sorry, I had to. I was talking to my talking to my my kiddo. Fun fact: uh, the litter boxes are right over there, and her task for the day is to clean those. And I was like, "Guess what? You don't have to right now. Congratulations." Nice. <laughs> hey, this is cool. There's some real dragons stuff happening right now. Yeah, Capcom makes a good dragon. Wes, I just realized um, that I, that you're watching the stream, right? Yes. I forgot to stream I'm watching... my gameplay to you. <laughs> Would you like I've been me watching to do on... that? Yeah, that might help. I was Let's watching see. on stream, and I am like a couple seconds behind uh, the live. What? And I'm also not listening to anything. I, I'm only hearing <laughs> oh, <no>. you. <laughs> I screwed this all up. Look, Marcus is usually on top of this stuff, okay? <laughs> Yes, no, it's... There we go. Yeah, and then I just have to redo my, my layout a little bit here. Let's just take a second, but you know, we're all here. We're all hanging out. We get it, right, everybody? Duke phase on a scale of 1 to 10, how Dark Souls is this game? It's not very Dark Souls at all, really. Um, it felt it felt a little Dark Soulsy there in that opening sec sequence, kind of. Yeah, um, it but... is in that it's, like, challenging, but... I don't think it's as challenging as a From game, and the action is different. Um, like, From Software is about learning patterns, parrying, blocking, not dying. Uh, Dragon's Dogma has a lot more leeway for how you approach action. Do you want to climb a dragon and attack its neck? Do you want to be an archer and shoot down harpies from afar? Do you want to be a, like a, a thief type character and do quick attacks with low armor? Like, I think there's a lot more leeway to do 
action in Dragon's Dogma compared to uh, Dark Souls, which is very like, I mean, you know what Dark Souls is. I'm familiar. Uh, both hard, uh, but I don't think Dragon's Dogma is trying to do what uh, From Software does in their games. Uh, look, we're just gonna go with it, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I just want to get to it, man. Um, like I was saying, we were talking about character creators. Uh, it did show two at the time, but it was it was having you choose between gender. And I was like, man, am I making, mm. am I gonna make two guys here, <laughs> two people? You Not will have to make a pawn time. in a bit. Uh, so is your stream? Is your your? Uh, I'm streaming to you now, uh, Wes. Is that better? I hope. Somewhat? Yes. Okay. Yes. Sorry about that. Oh, Duke Faison, let's give it gift it out t subs, thank you. I remember at the I do remember I, I was pretty successful when I played it back in two thousand twelve at making a a character that looked I was even surprised. I was like, Man, I really made it look like me. Yeah. I do remember this cutscene of and uh, like it was like looking into a mirror, looking out into the sunset. <laughs> I think I might even have a picture of it. Cause I think I did, Man, the uh, PS3 era is so interesting. I haven't seen this game in a minute. Now, oh, this, actually, this is the—is this the PS3 or Xbox 360 version? Uh, it's Dark Arisen, which I believe came out on 360, right? Yes. Yes. Let me look it up. Because they also did that re-release thing. Yeah, it did come out on 360. Um. But then they also did the re-release on like Series XS and PS5, well, which so is I wasn't the sure version where this was. Yes, uh, yeah. To be clear, um, that's what we're playing. This is the Series X version. Um, oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I bet. So I wonder if the Series X is just backwards compatible of the 360 version, whereas the PS5 is like a different Ooh. skew. I you know think. what it? You know what it is? It is the it's the Xbox one version specifically because i remember when i went to go download it you know how if you have it organized by console i had to go yeah. down to xbox one to find it um, okay yeah so it's in the xbox one port of the xbox 360 game he said yes with great confidence Let's see what is this Did you post that? Are you Kyle in person? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I uh, that okay. that. Sorry, I I we got distracted. But I, if you look in that old story, it's very much I included as a joke. You can see my the Dragon's Dogma character that I made. If you scroll down a bit, uh, it was an old article that I wrote. It was very <laughs> tongue in cheek. Uh, top forty three video game redheads, and it was just like a list of people with red hair in video games, and number. 37 was that character I made in Dragon's Dogma that looks like me from Dragon's Dogma. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, I God. Like <laughs> what are we doing here? I got to fight a dragon? I think you just need to stay alive for a little bit. I'm just going to punch uh, him in the knee. The, the game will good. do its thing. I literally just watched. I've been watching this show called um, uh, Delicious in Dungeon. It's an anime on Netflix. It's quite yeah, good. Yeah, yeah. And I've the episode that we just watched during lunch was them fighting a giant red dragon just like this. It's so funny. This is happening. That's the one that's like the anime that's like more about the, not the dungeon exploring. It's like cooking and stuff. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. It's funky. It's good. I like it. It's uh, yeah. Cause like they, they're going into this weird mystical dungeon um, and they're eating the creatures inside the dungeon, which is like everyone else thinks is disgusting, but the crew that you follow in the show has figured out how to cook them. And like half the episode is like, here's how we prepare it. You know, this is what temperature you need. It. And it's like, it's kind of fun that it goes into all that detail. I think I had a freelance buddy write a piece for Polygon, I want to say, about that anime. Oh, cool. Something about like a, a gelatinous cube, like intake somebody, and then they're questioning whether they should eat. A monster that has eaten somebody they know or something like that yeah yeah that's yep yep yeah sounds like a good premise it's good it's funny it's uh Pros for the record i would eat a monster that had eaten my friend if i was hungry oh god would not phase me i think your friend would want you to 
mm -hmm. try that. I've done it before. I just, uh, oh, you've done it before. Okay. <laughs> just like this, actually. A little heart, tip of my finger. And then used magic to just suck it down the gullet. Yeah, what's what's happening here? The dragon is eating my heart? Kind of. Kind of, okay. Consuming it magically. How am I alive? You're heartless now. Welcome to Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> what if that's like popped up on screen? Kingdom, Heart Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> Exclusive announcement. <laughs> Dragon's Dog will be a world in Kingdom Hearts 4. <laughs> Is it weird that that would get me more excited than any possible <laughs> other announcement they could make? Could, just because it would Aww. be so weird. It's like, yeah. you know. Are you a Kingdom Hearts hater? You don't, um, you don't mess with Kingdom Hearts? No, I, 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 I played the original when it came out. And it's, it's funny, Marcus and I were last week were talking about maybe the next super replay we do is the original Kingdom Hearts because I never beat Ooh. it. Um, it's quite long, but I've never I never beat it. Yeah. I got to the end boss and I couldn't beat it at the time. Uh, and then two I played and beat, and I I two I really liked a lot. Um, uh, just the the ending of that game is is lunacy in a way that I really appreciate. Yeah. And then I fell <laughs> off as most people did, and I tried to come back for three. And I was just like, this is this is hard. <laughs> <laughs> you lost the magic. You I grew up. Magic. I mean, I got through you the gotta... Toy Story world, which I was very excited for. But after that, I was like, I don't. This is too saccharine. I don't know if I can do this. It's fair. I love three, but it is uh, Kingdom Hearts on yeah. steroids for sure. I am excited for four because it seems to be marking a new yeah. direction, right? A new starting point. I mean, I'm sure it won't really be you know no certainly not yeah but better at least than just jumping into three after skipping all the tertiary stuff after two you know yep. okay it is time to begin it is time for you to begin your journey as arisen but before you can win your heart back from the dragon you'll need to prepare okay looks like a giant steak kind of oh is this oh, there's a there's a person here <laughs> horror game holds up pretty well visually it feels I might good. just have a soft spot for this era but i mean this is this is ps3 360 like brown right like that yeah. was just that was the hotness for a while i'm sure it gets when i go out in the world i know there's a lot more greenery but like gears of war really put us on a brown path for a long time yeah my kind do not heed the toothless does this is this telling me to get a weapon? Examine. Okay. Okay. Your vocation determines your basic attributes, wieldable equipment, and skills. Ooh, Strider. This is what we we're talking about earlier. Strider. If you want to do roles, yeah, ODD low, I think was saying Strider's the class. Daggers. But I mean, who knows if we'll get it in the first hour? So. I do. I am a guy. I I like a a class like in in from games. I'm always like a two short sword kind of guy i don't really like messing really with wow shields yeah I okay don't, interesting i don't really do shields uh well, yeah. i'm bad at them um so i'm gonna try i'll go strider even though i'm not like a big bow and arrow guy in general you can equip yourself with a primary and secondary weapon primary weapons such as swords and daggers are combat essentials secondary weapons like bows and shields offer support yeah see i would much rather have a a bow than a shield and see, this is my kind yeah. of this is my kind of fighting, you know. You're oh, I'm sorry, oh god, Prince of Persia, basically. <laughs> yeah, I just was beating the crap out of these poor people in this house. I did not realize that was going to happen. Duke phase on. It feels like I should get this game, the OG or Dark Arisen. Which one do you think I should get? If you want to play the first one, just get Dark Arisen because it has an expansion and quality of life updates. But two comes out on the 22nd, so next Friday, um, and. Honestly, I'd probably just jump into that. Uh, after previewing getting from what I've read about the game, like, I mean, the story is not the highlight of these games. Just jump into two and enjoy the um, mo modernity of it and quality of life updates that happen after 10 years of game stuff happens. Um, I, th I think it was in your preview, Wes. They literally, the games are happening side by side, right? One and two? I think I not in mine, but yeah, okay. I forget... I've, I've seen that as well. Um, yeah, this is like, it's meant to be, you can jump in without having played the first one. Totally fine. Mm -hmm. um, 
Okay. But I yeah, do, okay, I, if you do want to go back to the old games, do Dark Arisen. There's really no reason to hit up the OG. Quests are earn your experience each level game. Okay, defeating foes gives you experience, turns out. Um, bring up pause menu where you can check your attributes. But that's, you mean the back this button, I guess, right? Uh, I went with Butts. My name is Butts Barbara is the name I went with. Classic. A flask of oil. Sure, I'll take it. Duke phase, and I'm okay with old game mechanics. I mean, I mean, I get what you're saying. I just, like, Dragon's Dogma 2 is so similar to the first Dragon's Dogma based on what I've played. Um, not similar, like, in that. I mean, it feels like a 2024 game. It's just, like, it is Dragon's Dogma 2 AT. Like, they... And I even interviewed the director and I was like, so did you guys like pay attention to games like The Witcher 3 that came out in between one and two uh, to maybe get some inspiration or see how the fantasy genre has changed? And he was like, no, <laughs> just like straight up. Nope. Yeah. And I'm yeah. like, all right, cool, cool. Like this is oh, yeah. dra like Dragon's Dogma 2 is uniquely and still very much Dragon's Dogma. Um, so like I think playing two will still give you all the stuff that Dragon's Dogma is about. Here we go. We got some green going here. It's looking nice. But it's still that sort of muddy yeah. PS3 360 thing, right? Like, I, there's just something. It's like a little washed out or something by design, right? Like, that's the. Yes, yeah. yeah. It's, it's strange. Um, By the way, for what it's worth, the Dark Arisen, I think it's five bucks right now. Um, I know it on Steam because I, I, I went to the Steam page to grab some screenshots. And I think it's like it was like four dollars and ninety eight cents to pick up Dark Arisen today, um, but yeah, on the GI show we talk about it a lot. But I'm always gonna be the guy that's like, just play the new fun thing, you know? Don't yeah. don't worry about catching up. You can catch up later. But if if everyone's excited about Dragon's Dogma two next week and it's getting good reviews and you want to check, like, just yeah, play that one. It is more expensive though, uh, undoubtedly. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If you got it on eBay for two. Uh, pounds or euros i forget what symbol that is sorry being an american um <laughs> yeah that's yeah i mean give it a shot and, and and honestly if you end up liking dark arisen then maybe yeah you're like 10 hours in you're like i'll just jump over to two that's what all the hotness is um i'm expecting uh people to really enjoy to based on what i've played of two in previews um yeah, I, I wanna. I'm gonna give it a real shot. Like I didn't. I only played this one a little bit, but it, the, I'm almost done with Rebirth. I'm on chapter 13. Um, ah. But I assume, uh, Wes, you can confirm for me that those last two chapters are probably quite long. Um, Did you just start 13? No, I've been playing like two or three hours in there. Yeah. I'm I'm moving land masses around. You know that kind of thing. If that makes sense without spoiling. Yeah, anything. they're long, but. I mean, I don't know what, uh, how long you. Yeah, you, you're, you're, you're good. You'll be, you'll be done soonish. But they're then, long. Yeah, but it's like, do I, do I jump like into Dragon's long. Dogma? Do I jump, jump into Rise of Ronin? Do I do, jump into Persona Three Reload? <laughs> you know? or, oh, did you beat like a dragon, right? Are you played I did. It enough? My, yeah. my stated goal for 2024 is to play like a dragon, Rebirth, and Persona Three Reload. I'm all, I've I'm you know I'm almost done with Rebirth. We'll see if I we'll see if I do Persona. Because I've never played a Persona, and I wanted I wanted to do Reload would make that my first one. I I was talking with a friend last night or maybe the night before actually about he loves Persona. I've only played five Royal, and one of our friends we were playing Hell Divers with was asking where to start, and I was like, oh, just start with Royal, like it's. Yeah, they're all it's so good and blah blah blah. But he was actually the Persona fan was saying Reload might be a really great start because it's so much shorter. Like Re, uh, Royal is like 120 hours, and it doesn't even the game doesn't even fully unravel till like hour 30. He said Reload like gets you in within like the first 10 hours, and then you're off to the races. So that, well, that so sounds I, like a good I, battle plan. I don't think you're legally allowed to use the word persona and short in the same sentence in any. <laughs> yeah. Any or just games in short lately. I feel <laughs> right, like this yeah. year is like the <laughs> publishers, like all the, all the games came out last year. So they're like, we got to release our RPGs this year. We need, we've only got one to release this year, but it will keep gamers playing for a hundred hours. <laughs> 
available quest changes you progress through the game. Additionally, you can always consult the quest section of the pause menu for your current objectives. People with red Excuse icons. Excuse gamer. Oh, I'm afraid to start a rebirth. So many games to play. And wow, does it sound long? Rebirth is long. I think if you mainlined it, which is kind of hard to do, at least 50 hours. I know I've seen people beat it in 50 hours. I rolled credits at 85. And I oh, did yeah. everything okay. I wanted to do around hour 100. I'm at um, about 65, I think is where I'm at. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Um, it is long, but... I don't know. Rebirth of all the RPGs this year is like the one I would prioritize mm. if you care about story stuff because just I don't know. People aren't talking about how Reload and um, Infinite Wealth end or like what that story is about. Whereas Rebirth, like throughout the year, we're going to be seeing discussion about the ending and like and the game story in general. Yeah, it's much more susceptible to spoilers, I think. Yeah. Where I could tell you what happens at the end of Infinite Wealth, and you would probably be like, "Okay, yeah, that's what I thought would happen." <laughs> you know, it's, yeah, it's very good. I I love Infinite Wealth, but it's not a particularly twisty turny. You know, yeah, there's a couple of twists in there. Uh, but I mean, yeah. Rebirth is like built up on the premise of its story and like what it's going to do compared to the original. Yeah, uh, that's like I wanted to review it because I love Final Fantasy, and I I'm one of our Final Fantasy guys here at Game Informer, but there was also a part of me that wanted to review it for us so that I could beat it and know what happens before possibly getting spoiled on it or anything like that. Yeah. Um, which it's is funny because I got I very distracted about, doing side stuff. So I felt about Tears of the Kingdom. I was just grateful to to like have it under my belt yeah. before everyone else had it just so I would, yeah. you know, I could look at every screenshot and every video everyone shared without fear. But I actually, I haven't even seen, I mean, knock on wood, I guess, I maybe I shouldn't flirt with it, but I really haven't seen anyone, like, even be close to spoiling Rebirth. You know, sometimes I'll read a comment yeah. and be like, oh, wait, I'm not going to finish reading that comment, or, oh, that person's talking about Rebirth, I'm, gonna, I'm not, I'm not going to actually engage with them. But I haven't really seen a lot of that for Rebirth, in a way where people are just, maybe they're being nice, you know? Yeah, I think... I think so. And it's like, it is such a big game and it's so easy. The side stuff is great and also even better than great. Like some of the side stuff is not awesome to me, but for some, something about the game, it's, it's so good at making you want to do the side stuff. Like it's really hard to pull yourself away from its side activities. So I feel like a lot of players are just like, I'm going to do everything. Like everyone I know who's playing it, they're like trying to 100% every region before they move on, even though I'm like, I don't think you should do that. Um, so I'm assuming a lot of people just straight up haven't gotten to the ending. And yeah. then obviously a lot of media is not going to spoil the ending or anything. I've seen like discussion uh, features and stuff that are great, but no one's outright spoiling anything in headlines and stuff, which That's is great. Good. Yeah, my struggle with that game is I don't particularly, I would like to skip a lot of the side content, but I feel like when I do, I am woefully unprepared for boss fights and stuff so okay so you, is yeah. it like i i did all the side stuff just because i am that kind of person with open worlds yeah but i was curious like how under leveled you can go into some stuff if you don't because there's a I, couple boss yeah. fights where i was like this is brutal yeah i've had at least there have been two, at the very beginning of the game i was trying to mainline it from the second one and i wasn't even i couldn't beat the first main boss so I went back and oh, did okay. everything. And now yeah. recently I kind of was like, well, maybe I, maybe I can chill out with all this side stuff. And then there's a, a big series of fights that happens in the Golden Saucer um, that I had to back away from and go level up again. So I was like, well, yeah. I guess I got to do everything. Fine. There was a boss in Chapter 10 that really kicked my butt um, at the end of Chapter 10. And I had to go back and grind, which yeah. kind of put me back onto the doing side stuff path. Now, I was told I could roll if I picked this class. Where's that roll button? <laughs> I think you have to... I think it's a skill you'll oh, get Oh, I got later. a lock on it. Okay. Well, I got yeah. bows and arrows. This is kind of fun. This combat feels good. Yeah. Like, I, I'm all, like, super spinny. Yeah, it's good. Try gaining levels or obtaining better equipment. Duke Faison, I started playing SMT Strange Journey on DS last week. I've never played an SMT game. Oh, wow. They scare Weird. me. They uh, scare you. 
I like Persona because I like the social stuff, uh, but I, I know SMT is like hardcore combat focused, so I've kind of stayed away. I think those are also um, exceptionally long as well, right? Yeah, the new one, the Switch version, SMT5, has an additional storyline, but you have to beat the original storyline first. And the original mm-hmm. storyline is 80 hours, and apparently the new storyline is 80 hours. And I'm like, oh, who, who's doing, who's got this time? Not me. Oh, dude, look, I can, uh, I can grab a rock. Oscar, hey, Colin West. Last week, the whole world said goodbye to Akira Toriyama. He passed away at the age of 68 years old. He was a character and monster designer for Chrono Trigger and Dragon Quest video games. Yes, it was very sad. Also creator of uh, Dragon Ball, which is one of the, possibly the greatest anime of all time. Well, yeah, Dragon no, Ball I, that, that hit saga. me hard. I was, I was surprised when I saw that, and it, it's, it has continued to, to make me sad and we're I, i'm we're yeah. gonna have something in the next issue well a little we'll have a, a tribute to toriyama i think um we'll put we'll it put sucks because it's together. like it wasn't something we were expecting like he no. wasn't in we didn't know he was in poor shape or anything i think it was like a basically the equivalent of a stroke i know they yeah his letter said what it was but um i think it was like a stroke which you know that can happen out of anywhere there's a new Dragon Ball anime coming out this year. Yeah. Uh, Sandland, the game, is coming out this year. Like, he had big plans for his stuff, and it really sucks that, um, one, he's not seeing it through, and two, like, he wasn't done with Dragon Ball, one of the most beloved animes of all time, and now yeah. it's up in the air if we're going to get more, which is, like, well, selfishly very sad yeah. to hear. I mean, he's he's been... I think he had been pretty hands-off lately, you know, like he's not drawing yeah. it or anything, but yeah. I, so I think Dragon Ball probably still continue in a big way, but without him, it's just, it's not going to feel the same. You know? Yeah. Um, yeah. I just wonder. Like, I mean, I'm I'm currently reading Dune because I'm um, all in on Dune right now because of yeah. Part Two, and I've been reading about Frank Herbert, the author, and how his son picked up the series after he died and, and everyone was happy like, with that right everyone's cool is it worked out well? yeah yeah totally <laughs> yeah he's like i've got ten thousand notes of my dad's sci-fi world pages i can write more novels and apparently every single one that his son has written is like terrible yeah not, people um, do not like it yeah and so like that's my biggest worry whenever something like dragon ball continues after the creator has uh passed away yeah uh, um, totally reasonably yeah yeah, but um, Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z Super, it all still exists, and it's all still so good. Yeah, I the thing for me was I was like, even though he's like, you know, he's not writing new Dragon Ball manga day to day, he he just, I always felt like Toriyama for the rest of my life, which was an unreasonable expectation, uh, was he just felt like one of those forces that was like, yeah, every once in a while, he's going to draw a new character for this thing. You know, hey, you know what? New Dragon Quest. Yep, characters by Toriyama. Uh, new Dragon Ball yeah. fighting game. Yep, he designed an exclusive new character. Like that was, I just was like, well, that'll, I'll have that for the rest of my life. But like, and so it was really like, like I said, an unreasonable expectation. But just one of those things that like you just feel. You know, it's like yeah, yeah. He's been around my whole life. He will be around for the rest of my life. <laughs> you know? Yeah. No, it's so sad. Yeah, sixty-eight is like so uh, early. It sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, Husky's Gamer, I think you've sold me on Rebirth. It took me years to play Final Fantasy VII Original and somehow avoided spoilers, but it took effort. Um, yeah, I assume you've played Remake. If not, you should definitely play a Remake before Rebirth. But Rebirth is great. It's really awesome, um, especially from a story and mainline perspective. Pretty much all of my issues with it, which, I mean, I gave it an 8.5. It's still a great score. Uh, stem from the open worldness of it. Uh, but it's a game that I think any Final Fantasy VII fan will love. And also, I'm on like the cooler side of that game. People love Rebirth. Oh. Like a lot of people really, really like. It's got tens. It's got like high nines. People, I hear a lot of people say yeah. it's the best Final Fantasy. All this kind of stuff. I'm not quite there, but um, even on the cooler side, it's still a fantastic game in my opinion. When you said uh, when you said I'm on the cooler side, I didn't realize you meant like <laughs> like like I'm not, not as hot. hot, right? I thought yeah, you meant, yeah. you're like cool. Okay, I I'm think... actually a really cool gamer. Yeah, comparatively. <laughs> <laughs> I've just been like beating the crap out of boxes. That's like sort of all I've been doing here. 
Zelda simulator. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. Yeah, I I'm also I'm one of those people who just wants to roll through all the boxes and and uh you know Dark Souls. Oh my gosh! I just uh, ruined someone's whole day. Ol Ulrastinaj, uh, rolling unlocks later, unfortunately. Okay. Well, what am I even doing here? Here we go. Cyber Exile, sixty eight is way too early. Agreed. Duke Faison instantly pre-ordered Sandland when he heard of Akira Toriyama passing. Nice. I don't know what to expect of that yeah, game. I've not. Either. I'm not familiar with the manga. And, yeah, there's a movie uh, coming soon. I have. I, I yeah. would like to watch. I was always planning to watch it. When I see it, I'm like, "This is awesome." I love Toriyama's art style. Um, but yeah, I honestly have no idea what to expect of it. That is a a game that will sort of it will benefit from Toriyama's passing. A lot of people who maybe you know normally maybe weren't even planning on playing it are probably now. Taking another yeah. look and being like, oh, yeah, if this is the last Toriyama thing, you know. Maybe. Cyber Exile. Freak accident, I think. He hit his head or something. Now, he, he had um, acute subdural hematoma, um, which I think is a heart thing. Uh, my friend, who I was with at the time when he passed away, big Dragon Ball Z fan, he's a firefighter and knows medical terms. He said it's basically uh, the equivalent of, like, a stroke type thing. Okay. Um, so, yeah, it's a... Not necessarily something that could have been prevented. Like, it just happened, and unfortunately... Uh, Bummer. Yeah, he died of it, yeah. Time to get a... Oh, maybe not. Well, I've, I've had one with me, a pawn. Is that what you're going to say? Select status. Yeah, but you make one, I think, eventually. Who's, like, your permanent pawn with you. Oh. And that's the one that goes off into, like, other people's games and does stuff for them. Because that's one of the cool things with pawns is... Uh, they can be like shared between games. Right. Yeah. So this is Rook, who's a yeah. Speaking of, ODD speaking of cool says... gamers, <laughs> <laughs> Rook, cool guy. I mean, yeah, that's a cool. That's a cool gamer right there. That's a cool gamer right there. Uh, so why was I doing that? Okay. So I guess. So do you have more than one pawn with you? You eventually time. can. You I can? think you can okay. have up to three. So you'll have your permanent pawn, which is like the one that you're going to make here in a bit, according to ODD Low. Um, and then you can hire other pawns. Uh, they'll approach you randomly. You can hire them from like that Riftstone thing. Right. Um, and yeah, and you can like do what you want. You can get rid of them. You can rehire them, that kind of stuff. But that, yeah, you can get a full party going. The pawn system, uh, uh, even though I haven't really engaged with it much, is was like the most interesting thing to me about Dragon's Dogma, just because it's so strange, right? It's basically like yeah. a puppet of a human that sort of follows you around and helps you fight. They don't have personalities or anything, right? They're just like... They kind of do. They're like a part of the world. Like, pawn, it, pawn was always funny to me because it sounds like a... Um, like a, a a word that we would use meta, like right. they're just a pawn. That's a game mechanic, but like pawns are a part of the world of Dragon's Dogma. Right. They are special beings that do special things. But yeah, they're kind of like blank slate-ish. They have like a a template of a personality. Um, but it is a it's a really cool system, and like you can make them hold stuff for you. You can take their stuff. You can send them back to their owner with stuff. It's uh, it was very cool. I never die. I never did too much with it. Um, back in the day, but I know like a lot of people really cherished yeah. their pawns. Discipline points. Yeah, so even Duke though we'll... I got COVID. Oh, sorry, go ahead. No, you you go ahead. Duke says he got COVID at the end of last year and passed the time watching Dragon Ball Z Kai. It was a blast. I've actually never watched Kai. I just recently finished watching uh, OG Dragon Ball Z because um, it was my first time and I wanted to. Uh, watch what everyone did growing up like i wanted to see the original fill, filler and all yeah um so i'm excited to get to kai um yeah if you were if you wanted to if you're interested in dragon ball I, I, and again as someone who has not watched kai i almost feel like you feel it you kind of just go go for the whole shebang you know because even the filler stuff yeah. is like fun you know that's how you get the uh the famous driving episode that's a filler episode, I believe, when I they get their so. driver license. Yeah. And uh, that's like a beloved filler episode, of course. And there's some bad. The Garlic Jr. Saga, uh, which is like five or six episodes, is awful. 
terrible. Um, but I'm glad I watched it because now I can talk to other fans <laughs> and be like, yeah, that Garlic Jr. saga sucks. Yeah, right. Yeah, also, I, there was like an episode on the way to like Namek. I think Krillin and Bulma and Gohan like just end up on another planet for a couple or an episode or two yeah. or something, right? It's like it's completely irrelevant to the larger plot. I, I when yeah. I was when I was watching it live on TV and it was only, fake fake Namek, yeah, right. We, we'd only get you know an episode a, a, a day or something. I think that I did find it frustrating then because I was like, well, I want to know what's gonna happen, like what's going on with Frieza. But yeah, if you're gonna go watch it now or you aren't on a Cartoon Network tsunami schedule, yeah, just watch the whole thing, man. Yeah, and watch OG Dragon Ball. I yeah, I've heard uh, some people have not seen that and. I think OG Dragon Ball is like fantastic. Uh, it's it's such a different show than Z, um, and it gives you a lot of like the foundation of these characters and their relationships. Also, the art is so good. I love OG Dragon Ball. Yeah, it's great. I'm taking the Attack on Titan approach here. Yeah, back of the neck. The, those that. are the guys from Fortnite, right? Attack on Titan. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Duke Hansen said that Cloud was inspired by Gohan, looked it up, and there are really cool comparison images, and I'm convinced it might be true. Yeah, I I, I saw that recently. With Toriyama's yeah. passing, I recently learned of that too. Like I saw a side by side and I was like, this is this must be, right? It must be. Yeah, I don't it's tough. I that one I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, ah, no, it's just coincidence. Yeah. Um But at the same time, uh, you know, like they they look very similar, like the purple outfit, blonde hair, red red sash, right? I think even around the middle of their their waist and stuff. Yeah, both very cool. I think Wes, I think this is exactly how far I got when I played it back in the day. I think this is about where I was like, ah, oh, that seemed cool. I'll come back to this later, and then you know, did never again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but this um. Our because we'll be we'll be uh, we're just streaming for an hour today. I this I like I I've been impressed by revisiting this because like I remember it being stiffer for some reason, but like the combat feels really good. Like the it, yeah, it's like I have the like I like these these moves. I feel like I was doing good damage. It was like climbing on characters was fun. Like that's the part that I'm like, oh yeah, no this this feels good. I would like to see sort of a 2024 version of this. Like that, uh, yeah. It's what like people sing the praises of Dragon's Dogma. Like the combat is very different from other uh, games in this genre. Yeah, fantasy. Um, I also yeah, open world. Kind of yeah, things. I think not having lock on is weird at first, but it's kind of cool. I think it helps the combat feel a little different because you're kind of really focusing on how you move around as opposed to just hitting R three to lock on to an enemy and then pressing yeah. square to attack. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, let me get through some chats here before we round out the stream. Bartholomew, I read a bunch of Brian Herbert's Doom books and liked them initially when I was young and dumb. Recently just reread all the mainline books, including Brian's two books, finishing the story. It was shocking how bad they were. Oh, wow, I'm okay. 200 pages into Dune the fir for the first time, and I'm, like, loving it. I'm actually pretty shocked at how much I'm enjoying it um, and wondering why I was so scared to read this book. I know why. It's because it's, like, a 900-page book, but I'm enjoying it. I might just I... be writing the... The, the spice high of Dune Part 2 in theaters, but uh, I'm liking it. I have tried to read Dune um, like three times over the course of my life. <laughs> and I've, I've never been able to make it very far. I, I've, I've, I have not seen Dune 2 yet, but I, I'm, I'm very excited to go see it. I think we're going to go see it on Sunday. It is very good. I also think reading dune after watching one and two pretty much back to back helps a lot because um i'm like picturing paul as timothy chalamet and like all these characters as these people and i know oh, all sure. the terms because like the the book comes with the a freaking glossary like which is wild oh, and okay. i would be turning to the back to check words all the time but i know them already because i've seen the movie and i think that's what's helping make it so good for me uh, but we'll see i'm only 200 pages into a 800 page book <laughs> um yeah because it is very yeah. it it I think it would because watching the movies and now knowing some of the terminology because that is a big problem with when I would read mm -hmm. it like I read it many years ago and then after watching Dune one I don't know twenty twenty two or something or when, I don't remember when that came out I that's when yeah, I tried it again and I was like okay well now I know what like what's it the Quizat Hatterack and stuff it's like okay I, I know yeah. some of these words now <laughs> yeah but it's still it's a lot of jargon you know it's a lot it of is, made up jargon. Yeah. 
it is. Um, it's, yeah, I think watching the movies is what's really helping me get through this a lot because I'm not confused by the jargon. I know what, right? yeah, Quisette's Hatteract is and all these other terms. Uh, uh, yeah. Um, let's see. Chain Whipping. What's up, guys? Is this in the top 10 games that are always $5 list? Possibly. <laughs> it is very cheap right now. That's a very specific um, list. <laughs> yeah. Does the Switch version run well, Duke asks? If I Ooh, buy it, I have a higher question. chance of playing it if I have it on Switch. I don't know, personally, but I mean, it's a 2012 game on Switch, so I imagine it's probably keeping a pretty consistent 30 FPS and yeah, looking I wish, good. I wish I knew the answer to that, because I, I remember I, I did get it when it came to Switch, because that was an instance where I was like, oh, this I'll play it here. Like I'll finally get around yeah. to Dragon's Dogma, and it was, not, it was one of those instances where I never did. But, um, yeah. Yeah. Bartholomew, as the pawns learn about the world and quests and enemies in your world, they go back to their owners with that information. It's pretty cool. That's right. And they can like, if they have, if if they've done a side quest with their owner, for example, and you have them and you're doing that side quest, they can kind of like guide you to there oh, okay. easier, which is cool because the, cool. the there's not much guidance in the world of Dragon's Dogma. Like, it's not put a waypoint on a map and just it takes you there. You have to like find your way there. Yeah. Um, Although right now at this moment, I am trying to head towards the waypoint <laughs> yes um cyber exile i'm gonna try watching from the beginning not sure if it aged well i assume you're talking about dragon ball um dragon ball definitely i mean it hasn't aged well in some instances like roshi and that kind of stuff but it's a 1980s anime yeah. um i don't think it's anything egregious like uh nothing that made me like actually uncomfortable watching it was just like oh yeah that probably would not fly for a children's anime today yeah. um but still great um Duke Faze on a channel in my country aired it up until Future Trunks came and finished the bad guy. And the next day it was taken down because it was deemed too violent. That was the last oh, time I watched no. OG. Dang, that sucks. That scene is so sick, though. When you're looking at Trunks from his perspective, yeah. and then the screen starts to, like, glide on itself, so cool. I mean, Trunks' introduction in that show, especially when I was, like, watching it live for the first time, was maybe the coolest character I had ever yeah. seen on TV ever. Like... Like you gotta put, you gotta understand. We had spent a thousand episodes fighting one guy, and then yeah. this dude shows up with a leather jacket and a sword and kills that guy immediately. <laughs> it's so like... he. It's and then the show opens up so much at that point, just because yeah. he's like Goku. I need to tell you about some stuff, and you're like, oh my god, this is a different show now. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you do have to sit through. What, you, Namek explodes in three minutes. <laughs> when he's fighting Frieza, and that takes like I think thirty something episodes. Yeah. Uh, but uh, I mean, hey, at least that the person who went the show was taken off the air. At least they did get to see Frieza get defeated. Like that's yes, something. Yes, that's at least. true. I um. That suck. You did not get to see the Cell Saga though, which is my favorite in in the show. I do think, as much as I like Cell Saga, I do. If Dragon Ball Z had ended with Frieza, right, and like that was yeah. all we got, even to this day. I think that we would just, it would just be considered one of the greatest stories ever, period. You know, just like. Oh, I agree. Yeah. But, uh, yeah. I mean, I mean even with Cell Saga, Cell Saga had a pretty solid ending. Yeah. Uh, the Boo stuff is, I like some of Boo, but. Uh, it's not a bad a ending for like. the show, but it's not the best yeah. ending for the show, right? Yeah. Yeah. Look at this. What do we got going on here? We got Dragon Ball had a bad ending too because it ended and then there was like five more episodes of filler where yeah. he has to marry Chi Chi and oh, stuff. Right. And it's, yeah, he like goes and, and saves the town. The mountain and, and yeah, yeah, there's all kinds of weird stuff. But anyway, Dragon Ball, good stuff. Almost as good as Dragon's Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Which I, True, like yeah, I said, for, I, I, this is our dragon. This is our dragons. Our dragon no, stream. We can talk about what, anything with the word dragon in it. This is what replay is these days. Even before Toriyama passed away, Marcus and I would just spend so much time talking about Dragon Ball. I don't know why <laughs> that kept happening. Uh, but anyway, yeah, I, I think this is a good place to call it as I'm fighting this uh, snake. But yeah, I, I I've am impressed. Sort of jumping back into Dragon's Dogma. Uh, I'm like, yeah, this this feels pretty good. I, I like I like what's going on here. This is cool. I I should have given this more time. You know, back in the yeah. day, I didn't really give it its due but it was also like i said i was a young a young father at the time so i didn't really have didn't have the time for big uh open world fantasy rpgs back then but um yeah thanks yeah. for i think i think you'll like too a lot i think you'll yeah, you'll, I'm, I'm try yeah. It. 
Um, but yeah, thanks, Wes, for being available on uh, short notice here today and, and coming in. Oh, and I love dragons. Play. Oh, God, I got eaten by a snake. Oh. And um, I think unless something changes, uh, Marcus and I should be back next week with more um, uh, Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, which, you know, open invitation, Wes. You're always welcome to come play some Zelda with us if you're not busy. I have actually never played Majora's Mask, and I also have not beaten Ocarina. Really? Good yeah. I, uh, I thought about doing it on 3DS because I don't have a 64. I never oh. had a 64 growing up, and now I'm convinced that I will get Ocarina on Switch or on Switch 2 or maybe this remake that or maybe Switch uh, 3. <laughs> they told Brian was not happening, but I'm still convinced. Yeah, don't hold your breath. <laughs> But um, at yeah. this point, yeah, yeah, maybe just hold out for whatever future version might exist. I guess you could always play the original on Switch, which is what we're doing with Majora's Mask right now, you know. So. Oh, is it on Switch? Yeah, it's on the Wait. Nintendo, um, like like oh. uh, uh, whatever it's called, N sixty four. Yeah, Nintendo the Online. Switch Online thing. Yeah, I honestly forget so often that that exists until i have to write up a news story i forget that that's a service yeah. that nintendo provides dang that's i might i might need to do that that that's how we are playing majora's mask uh for super replay so um yeah that's awesome tune in next week more uh more majora's mask super replay and uh hey you know dragon's dogma 2 coming up soon we'll have a review and all that stuff keep an eye out uh and thanks everybody for tuning in see you next week yeah thank you bye, bye.